The energy and the trust that we build from social interactions have long been the bedrock of successful team building. Those human connections where we collaborate to create exceptional outcomes. Well, research shows that this can increase productivity by 25 to 35%. And sure, we all get this, but how do we take action on it? Well, it starts with tracking who we spend time with and how well we consciously create opportunities for success. In fact, I like to simplify this even further by saying it's all about our connections and our time. Now, for context, remember, WebEx already has People Insights profiles where we share professionally relevant information with others. So don't confuse this with what we're talking about here, which is personal insights, where we focus on your connections with other people, the effectiveness of your meetings, your work-life balance, and your focus time, which I, in fact, I always need more of that. See, people are the most valuable resources for any organization, and this tab provides several different viewpoints on your WebEx connections. These summary statistics are good for seeing the big picture, but beyond these aggregate summaries, what's new will surface interesting statistics about who you are meeting with most often and, and well, as well as how. And to make sure you don't miss something important, who is in the news, who is creating new content, maybe sporting a new title or a new management chain and you can personalize things further to make it actionable by choosing who you want to keep in touch with regardless of your previous communication activity. This, of course, allows for a more intentional focus on who matters most to you. Now, as we scroll further down, there's a list of your top 10 connections graphing the daily ebb and flow of your communication, and these overlapping bubbles highlight close, familiar, and distant groupings, which will show rank within the group by simply selecting it. And finally, for managers with direct reports, this section isolates your team activity. So those are a few of the powerful ways you can maximize your people connections. Let's now consider how personal insights can help you optimize your time. Now, I'm frequently guilty of stretching and contorting the definition of a workday, however I need to get stuff done in that moment. But we both know that any imbalance here will have negative consequences over time. And this work-life balance tab provides great insights for showing us how often we might be overloading our workdays. But there are also a number of helpful tools for making improvements both within our own schedule as well as those that we schedule with others. Meetings during quiet hours highlight any meetings that happen outside of your normal workday. Now, the definition of a workday can be set to whatever you need by going into this gear icon. The objective is to avoid dipping into those sacred non-work hours. You're going to be amazed at how a little awareness here can trigger big changes. Changes that get even easier with these last two tabs helping us optimize the balance between meetings and focus time. Now, I think of meetings as the hard edges of my calendar, the non-negotiable time slot where I'm uh, committed to leading or perhaps participating with my human connections. These key indicators here provide at-a-glance information along with some trending arrows so we can see where things are going. But you're going to get the most value here with just three questions. Are you staying on schedule? In other words, do you start and stop meetings as promised? The other one, are you making a good impression? Studies have shown that we connect better over video and especially when we limit distractions like messaging, you know, during the meetings. And for the meetings that you host, are you sharing an agenda before it starts? And are you mindful of your attendees' quiet time? Time zone management is always a challenge with a distributed workforce, but tools like these can help us avoid creating an imbalance for others. Because remember, these are your personal insights, so be sure to set your own goals and use this data as you see fit. Now, our final tab, focus time, is all about non-meeting productivity. But instead of trying to squeeze in some more work between meetings, this is about proactively defining that minimum length of uninterrupted time that you need to hit your groove, to find your flow, or well, just be productive. First, you want to look back to see if you've been squandering any potential focus time. This alone can be very enlightening and motivational for what experts recommend, which is to schedule your focus time. This is classic time blocking, which frankly, I believe should be taught in school now that we all seem to be on shared calendars of some sort. Block out your work week in advance so that others can't push their priorities onto you. In fact, I'm reminded of a well-worn Peter Drucker quote, you can't improve what you don't measure. And remember, these are personal insights. These are tools for you to be the best you you can be. WebEx is always led with privacy and security, and this is no exception. It's easy to be busy. It's even harder to be effective. But it's your life, so make it personal with insights from WebEx. We do it.
like we do it like we